the compassionate, the merciful. Hello everyone, I'm Mahya Mursadagi, a 20-year-old Iranian polyglot and author. I'm passionate about learning different languages and currently I can speak in eight different languages. Today, I'm honored to speak at the Polyglot Conference Global 2020 about Iran, my country, and the amazing Persian language. Uh, let's start with this question. Where is Iran, in case you guys don't know? Iran is located in Western Asia and the Middle East and has common border with uh, Persian Gulf in South and Caspian Sea in North, covering a land of about 1.7 million square kilometers. Now, you might ask yourself, uh, where is Persian language spoken? Today, three countries recognize Persian as their official language, Iran, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan. Um, Persian language is written in Arabic alphabet, but um, Tajik Persian is currently written in the Cyrillic script, although it was written in the Latin script uh, beginning in 1928, and the Arabic alphabet prior to 1928. Uh, in the past, about some three or four hundred years ago, the use of Persian was even more widespread. It served as a lingua franca in the east at the court of the Mughal emperor and in the west at the courts of the Ottoman sultans. Today, in these three countries, more than 120 million people speak Persian as their um, first or second language. By the number of its speakers and its influence, it is the most widespread language um, in the Middle East along with Arabic. Uh, now, how many languages are spoken in Iran? Out of about 7,000 known living languages in the world, about 70 are spoken in Iran. Uh, the Persian language, also known as Farsi, is the national language of the country. Uh, however, there are other languages and dialects spoken in the country. For instance, um, Turkic languages and cultures are spoken by 18% of the population, um, Kurdish by 10%, um, Gilaki by uh, 7%, uh, Luri by 6%, um, Arabic by 2%, what else, uh, Baluchi by 2%. Um, in addition to the languages I just mentioned, Hebrew, Armenian, Assyrian, and Georgian are spoken by less than 1% of the total population of Iran. Um, now, I'm going to teach you how to drive an Iranian crazy. You can ask them, mm, do you guys um, speak Arabic? Oh, uh, no. Okay, then is Persian the same as Arabic? It is a common mistake that people think that Persian is the same as Arabic or Iranian people speak Arabic. Um, a quick study of language families reveals that Persian is an Indo-European language. Um, whereas Arabic is a Semitic one. That means uh, Persian language is distantly related to Latin, Greek, English, and Slavic languages. Uh, this relationship can be seen in such cognates as Paradar, brother, uh, Pedar, father, Madar, mother, Dor, Dar, Dor, <laughs> Nom, name, uh, Mush, mouse, I don't know, no, new. And also like que means that um, in French, que in Spanish, que. Uh, and also qui means who, uh, qui in French, qui in Italian, you know. Um, let's say a verb like more than, to die, uh, mourir in French, mourir in Spanish. Uh, even in English, mortal or murder. It is a relatively easy language for English speakers to learn compared with any other major language of the Middle East because verbs tend to be regular, there are no definite articles, there is no grammatical gender. That's my favorite because I hate gender in languages. <laughs> um, as you might know, Persian is written uh, right to left. And as we said, 
uh, Arabic script with some modifications. Well, in the Persian language, we have some sounds that you can't find in the Arabic language. So we needed to create four new letters to represent those sounds like ge, che, pe, and je. Um, now let's see some common words between Arabic and Persian. Uh, but of course, the pronunciation is a bit different. Uh, book in Arabic is kitab, in Persian is ketab. Travel in Arabic is safar, in Persian is safar. First in Arabic is awwal, in Persian is avad. Uh, now we have uh, some common words between Arabic and Persian which have a different meaning like um, shu'ur and shu'ur. Shu'ur in Persian means sense, uh, common sense, reason, but shu'ur in Arabic means feeling. Zoruf uh, and zoruf. Zoruf in Persian means plates, but zoruf in Arabic means uh, situation. Um, ax and ax. Ax in Persian means picture, but ax in Arabic means inverse. The word inverse itself in Persian is bad ax. Got it? <laughs> so uh, there are also some few Persian loan words that have entered um, the Arabic language. Um, there are some in the standard Arabic, but there are more in some of the Arabic dialects, like the Iraqi dialect. So, for example, a wheel is charh in Persian, but in Iraqi is charh. Solution is chare in Persian. In uh, Iraq is chare. Uh, lock in Persian is bakht. In Iraq is bakht. A bar in Persian is meikhane. In Arabic is meikhane. Again, some we also have some words um, which are the same. It's the same word but with different meaning like mardane and murdane murdane in arabic means uh, cockroach but mardane in persian is uh, manish male yeah i'm sorry man <laughs> um we also have ruzname which means newspaper and rizname which means a uh, calendar in iraq uh, even though modern Persian has many loan words from Arabic in the same way um, that English does from French, to call them the same or even mutually intelligible is a gross mistake. Um, in some moments of Iran's history, when Persia had been conquered first by Arabs who brought Islam and later by barbarians from Central Asia, one man sets out to revive its past and keep the Persian language and culture alive. Um, Ferdosi. Ferdosi is credited with preserving uh, the Persian language. Um, arguably, the most important work of Iranian literature, Ferdosi's epic poem Shahnameh, was written without a single word in Arabic. He is therefore credited with saving the Persian language from becoming Arabic after the Islamic conquest. In fact, uh, when asked um, why present-day Egypt speaks Arabic instead of Coptic, a prominent uh, Egyptian historian stated, matter-of-factly, because we had no Ferdowsi. Um, Ferdowsi in his Shahname book said, بسی رنج بردم در این سالسی عجم زنده کردم بدین پارسی uh, It means I worked for 30 years in this book to revive the Persian language You might ask yourself um, Is Persian language hard to learn? Well, any language can be tricky to learn and mastering language may take many, many years as you guys know But some people believe that Persian is not really hard to learn but Persian can be um, challenging to master I believe, however, that it all depends on you. The key to learning any language is patience and persistence. And Persian is no exception. Uh, however, Persian grammar rules differ significantly from classic European languages, uh, such as English and French. Uh, they also differ significantly from Arabic grammar. So although it helps uh, to have shared words of Arabic origin, these shared words are used very differently. 
Um, general speaking, Persian language is easy to learn mainly because Persian nouns, pronouns, and verbs have no grammatical gender, and you can learn its alphabet maybe within a day. Um, now you know a lot more about Persians and their language. It's placed on the geographical and linguistic maps. Um, its history and literature impact. Um, it seems that you are really interested in Persian, aren't you? <laughs> uh, Persian is a language worth your attention. If you're really interested in learning this language, then go ahead and begin. I'm sure this will be a journey full of discoveries and exciting experiences. Um, at the end, I want to thank Mr. Richard Simcott for giving us this great opportunity to introduce our language and culture to the world. And um, I also want to thank Mr. Tim Donner for inspiring me to learn different languages. Uh, to sum up, um, I would like to say that you can buy anything but language and culture, because these two are not purchasable. Thanks for listening and have a great time at the Polyglot Conference.